Back in February, you probably noticed, or at least know now, that a fishing simulation was sent out to staff members. This is conducted as an assessment to see how staff would react to a real fishing attack. Even if you are not fooled by this exercise, it is good to arm yourself with knowledge to avoid becoming a victim in the future. Not only could these attempts be used to steal your personal information and passwords, but they could also be used to gain unauthorized access to our network, which can put other staff and student data at risk. Once your information is exploited, it could even be used to launch other nasty things like malware, viruses, and ransomware across the network to other users. So going back to the example email, let's take a look at warning signs that make it easy to spot this email as being a phishing attempt. If you ever suspect an email to be fraudulent, the easiest way to tell is to verify the sender. In the test email, you will notice that the email is sent from capshr at wmisd.org, which is outside our cadillacschools.org domain. This is a clear identifier that the email is fraudulent. Anything regarding an exchange of personal info, like your passwords or bank account information, should be viewed as suspect. Don't be quick to give out this information to anyone. Even if the email looks legit, you should be wary of clicking links that are embedded into the email. If we look at our example email once more, you can see that there is a link that appears to go to our financial office website. However, if we hover the mouse over the link, you can see that it goes to another website entirely. Usually these links direct to a spoof website that mimics a legitimate website in an attempt to steal your passwords and login info. When logging into sensitive websites, it is always a good idea to check the address bar and make sure things match up. More sophisticated scammers like to use websites that are typos or use a very similar name to the real website. If you are ever unsure, the safest method is to go directly to websites and avoid clinking links inside questionable emails. As always, the CAPS Tech Department is ready to help you with any concerns. And if you see a suspected phishing email, please feel free to report it to us.